Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create a calendar view on a SharePoint list. So here I have a list of projects, uh, and it res happens to be uh, residing on my uh, one of my SharePoint sites. Uh, however, it's a list. I want to view it in a calendar format. So I have a few date columns over here, start date and an end date. And let's go ahead and create a calendar view. So very easy to do. And by the way, uh, I happen to be using this list uh, on a SharePoint site, which is where, of course, the lists uh, reside. However, um, I could also just go to Microsoft List application and pretty much do the same thing from there as well. All right, uh, since we're here on a SharePoint site already, let's go ahead and create that extra view. What you need to do is uh, under the dropdown of existing views, you just need to hit create new view button. This is where you give uh, that view a name, and uh, I'm just going to name it calendar of projects. Um, and this is where this is the most important step, probably. This is where you get to select uh, the type uh, of view you're going to have. By default, it's a list. We can choose between calendar and gallery. Let's go with calendar. And because the obviously the calendar reside, uh, you know, relies on dates, we need to uh, pick uh, the dates. Um, uh, that um, you know will obviously be used for both start date and end date. All right, so uh, pretty much it just uh, filters uh, all the date columns from your list, um, and we can go uh, you know with some system ones, but we already have some custom columns. So the start date on my calendar is the start date column, and my end date uh, is of course uh, going to be the end date. All right. And obviously, these are required, right? Uh, in order for the calendar to display properly, you do kind of need a start date and an end date. So that's exactly what uh, we are going to do. Uh, we can make this view public. Um, under more options, this is where you specify the field that will appear, um, you know, within the calendar view. So in my case, you know, it's project name. So essentially. On the calendar view, I want the project name to be displayed, um, you know, in in the bar uh, of uh, selected dates. Um, you can, you know, choose any other field as well. Let's stick with project name. You will get to see what um, what that means in a second. So hit create, and here is our here is our calendar view that we just created. And remember, in the previous step, I used the project name field. Uh, that's what I meant. Right? Essentially, whatever field whatever column you choose that's the column that will be uh that will be uh, essentially populated over here it could obviously be some other field but i chose project name and pretty much what you can see right now are the same three entries i had on the list right now they appear uh, in a calendar view uh, which is essentially what we wanted to do all right so nice and easy we actually for those of you who used all the versions of sharepoint you might recall that we kind of had the same functionality in the past, but it obviously created uh, a classic looking uh, view here. Uh, it creates a nice modern calendar view, um, which is uh, which is absolutely great. Uh, that's all I wanted to share with you in this uh, little uh, you know, and quick video. So hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.